In this question, we need to maximize the guaranteed return from three options that we have. Option A gives us 0.1% if you invest in a public sector bank. Option B gives you in the event of stock market rising a plus 5% and the event of the stock market dropping a negative return of 3%. Similarly, option C in the event of stock market rising gives you minus 2.5% and the event of it dropping you get a plus 2%. Now I will try to solve this question using graphs, graphical method. Now the point is we will see if there exists an option by investing all money in B and C, a return that is greater than 0.1% for any value of money invested. Now let me take the fraction of money invested in option B as X and the fraction of money invested in C as 1 minus X. So, in the event of stock market rising, the return on investment will be X into 5 plus 1 minus X into minus 2.5, which is equal to 7.5 X minus 2.5. In the event of stock market dropping, similarly, we will find that the return on investment will be x into minus 3 plus 1 minus x into 2, which is equal to 2 minus 5x. Now, I will try to use these two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and try to solve graphically what is the value of x for which you will always get the maximum return on investment among these options. Now if I draw the graph of y is equal to 7.5x minus 2.5, it's a graph that is a if you look at the graph, it's an increasing graph at x is equal to 0, you will find it is at minus 2.5 and it continuously increases like this and it cuts your x axis at x is equal to 1 by 3. Similarly, if you look at the second graph, y is equal to 2.2 minus 5x. If you put x is equal to 0, it starts at y equal to 2 and putting y is equal to 0, it, it cuts your x axis at 2.5. Now, at any value of x, the smaller of these two is the guaranteed option. So, we want to maximize the guaranteed return. Hence, we would choose such value of x that gives us the maximum value of the minimum of these two curves which implies that at this point, if you, whatever is the value of x, we will check what is the return on investment and if this return on investment is greater than 0.1%, we will make sure that we invest that fraction in option B and the rest of it in option C. So if I try to solve these two equations, 7.5x minus 2.5 equal to 2 minus 5x, I will find that x is equal to 9 by 25. If x is equal to 9 by 25, 1 minus x correspondingly is equal to 17 by 25. And at this point, we find that the return on investment, that is y, equal to 0.2%. What does it imply? It implies that if you invest 9 by 25th of the entire amount that you have with you, in option B and the rest of it 17 by 25 in option C, you would always have at least a return of 0.2%. So you will find that this option is better than investing the entire amount in public sector bank. Hence, 
the option that we will exercise would be to invest 36% in option B and 24% in option C. 36% remember is equivalent to the fraction 9 by 25. Hence the appropriate answer is 2.